Okay, hey, what's up, guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, the best video settings and color grading that I've found to use for my new Sony A5000, which I've been using for um, my past two videos, this kind of cinematic type films. Um, I've been using this camera and a certain color grading and uh, certain settings on this that I thought the footage turned out really good and I should probably share what I did. So that's what this video is going to be about. Okay guys, so um, I've actually been working on a full review for this camera, uh, that should be up in like a week or two, but um, I wanted to get this video out there before to talk about the video settings and the color grading I do to make the footage look the way it does, if you've seen my past videos. Um, so let's get into it. So when I shoot my videos, um, I keep it on movie and shutter priority. Um, and since I shoot 30 frames per second, I like to keep my shutter on one um, of 60. Uh, so I like that. And then let's go into menu here. And then camera settings um, over to file format. I do AVCHD, which is kind of hard to work with um, on your computer. But once you figure out how to do it, I'll be talking about how to do it in this video. Um, it's definitely worth the improved quality over the MP4. And then I do the um, 1080p 60i. Uh, that's about 30 frames per second. Um, and then typically I actually export my video uh, in 24 frames per second. But I do like shooting in 30 so I can do some slow motion. Okay, so for um, kind of like the color that I get, I get a creative style and I do portrait. And actually choose these settings, so negative 2 contrast, uh, negative 3 saturation, and negative 3 sharpness. Um, this is so I can get kind of like a flat profile, um, and then I can color grade it in post, and I like how that turns out a lot. Now I've programmed my, um, like my keys to be custom, but basically for my focus mode, um, when I'm shooting like a video where I'm moving my camera a lot, a lot, uh, quite a bit. I use the continuous, um, but if I'm doing something where I'm just focused in on one thing, I cho I'll change it to manual. And then for my focus area, typically I'll just choose um, wide when I'm doing like a cinematic type video where I'm moving the camera a lot. Okay, so that's about it in terms of uh, video settings. I just leave everything else on auto. Now let's get into the computer to see um, how I color grade that footage. Okay, so to get the files from my camera to the computer, um, I think the easiest way is to just pop out the SD card and then put it into the computer. And I use a 32 gigabyte SD card uh, since it only records 1080p, um, it has plenty of storage. Okay, so now that the SD card is in the computer um, and I have Premiere Pro opened, uh, you got import media, you want to go to private, that's where the files are going to actually be. Um, and under stream. And here are all the clips um, from my camera. Uh, so this is uh, when I try to use, when I try to work with the AVCHD clips, uh, just like in, in here, say I can never really play them. Uh, so I typically use Premiere Pro just to organize them. And say so I want to like copy and move them somewhere, I can do that easily. But well, for example, I'll just import uh, this file here to show the color grading. Okay, so I'll actually be using a clip from my last video as an example to show this uh, color that I do. So I actually use a LUT pack that I found on YouTube. I'll link the channel I found it from. Below, uh, shout out to him. That's a it's a really good LUT pack. I think it has seven cinematic LUTs. Uh, but the f my favorite one to use is um, called uh, Clean and Blue Visca. Um, so right away it's a little too strong, but if you turn it down to say like 60 or 58, uh, I really like that look. And when you play back the footage, it gives it a much more cinematic look. And if it's just the regular color grading, um, there are also a lot more that you can do. Um, I also like the uh, teal and orange. A lot of people like to use the uh, teal and orange color grading in their videos, but 
You can also change that intensity and that gives it a pretty cool cinematic look also. Just makes it pop more. And once you get those cinematic black bars, um, it's gonna be looking, the footage is gonna be looking really good. And one last thing, when I export my uh, videos from Premiere Pro, I do it in this format and do um, VBR2 pass and then target bitrate. Um, typically just do it around like 20 and then just move my maximum bitrate up to like 60. Um, I always do uh, use maximum render quality. If you want, you can render at maximum depth. And um, I also, my sequence, I export in 24 frames per second. Make sure to change your sequence settings to 24 frames per second if you want to do that. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, those were the settings that I use and how I color grade my footage from my Sony A5000. Um, I don't know if it works best for you, but that is what works best for me. Uh, and I'm able to get pretty cinematic footage with a camera that's only $385. Uh, so make sure you've checked out my last two films to see what the footage from that camera looks like uh, when you use these settings. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you can see the uh, my actual review of this camera, uh, which is coming up in the next few weeks. And uh, comment down any questions below and I will answer them. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.